Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah. I am a homeschool mom of three little girls. We have been homeschooling for six years now. Um, and this video is all about reflecting on our 2021 to 2022 school year. So this video is in collaboration with Jessica Waldock from The Waldock Way and Abby from Rooted and Rest um, and a whole bunch of other mamas. I'm going to link the playlist in the description box below. So make sure you check all of that out. A special thank you as this is our last video of this school year together um, to Jessica and Abby for hosting um, and for coming up with all of the topics. Um, they have asked if I, uh, had suggestions for next year. So if you have a suggestion for a topic that you would like to see a whole bunch of moms, um, <laughs> have a video commentary on for next year, um, go ahead and put that in the comments. I would love to hear your suggestions and also would love it if you're new here, if you could subscribe, like this video, um, and stick around for more great homeschool um, videos from this channel. Um, well, you guys, this year has been kind of um, a year of discovery, I guess, for our family. Um, we're kind of in this place where we're trying to decide um, who we are as a homeschool family and who I'm trying to decide who I am as a homeschool mom. At least I have been for this whole year. I think I've got it <laughs> mostly figured out now. I mean, do you really like have it, everything figured out ever? But, um, I feel like I have after spending so much time this year, really kind of diving into different methodologies and different types of studies, have kind of like come to some conclusions about who I am as, as a homeschool mom and who, and how I want to represent, um, things, subjects, the world to my kids. So, um, we're going to be making some changes coming up soon. Um, and I'm really excited about them, but for now, let's talk about what we did do this year. So, um, things that we have implemented in our home this year have been, um, morning time, which has been a huge game changer for us. Um, it is the best part of everyone's day. Um, we love gathering all together and doing a few opening exercises to our homeschool day. We do devotions. Um, we usually do, um, multiplication, memorization, multiplication table, memorizing. Um, we usually have some kind of read aloud time, um, and like a fun kind of group activity that kind of lends itself to our Harry Potter school year that we've been, um, trying to keep up with. Although <laughs> since spring break, we haven't been great about any of that stuff. So, um, next week, this week we're testing with our school next week. Um, we'll be back to morning time as a, as a regular fixture in our home. Um, and continuing that through, um, really through the summer and into next year as well. Um, we did morning time through the summer last year and it was just a joy. So, um, another thing that we implemented into our homeschool just in the last year, it wasn't completely this school year, but last, the second half of last year, um, was travel school. So what that means for us is that, um, we are picking a destination, um, to travel to during the school year, like a field trip, but really gearing our school year, um, towards learning things in preparation for that trip. And so it's given us a, a renewed sense of purpose. Um, it has given the kids like an exciting thing to look forward to. And honestly, like our trips have been so good because the kids are really excited to see what they have learned about. So, um, we're going to be continuing to do that next year, continuing morning time next year. 
Um, one thing that we are going to be doing different is that we are switching from a more traditional homeschool to a more Charlotte Mason homeschool. Um, and I'll be talking about that coming up um, in some future videos. But um, I really, um, the only thing I've really known for my whole life, <laughs> I started, I was homeschooled from junior high and high school on, um, I guess not on after that, junior high and high school. Um, but all of my siblings, except for my littlest sister, um, and I had gone to a traditional school. And so we just continued having traditional school at home, mostly, um, all of my junior high and high school. And I didn't think that there was anything different than that. Um, when I began homeschooling myself, we homeschool through a public charter, um, which really just means we have accountability through the state. Sorry, my voice is a little tired today. We opened a play last week. And so I have been projecting for, uh, <laughs> so long now that my voice is just tired. Um, so we have accountability through the state. We They file all of our paperwork. They keep track of all of our records, all of those things. They also provide funding. We're in Southern California. Um, I did just find out that not all charter schools supply funds. Um, ours does. Um, and so uh, we have just schooled very, very traditionally for the last six years. Um, but... <laughs> I have been studying so hard and learning so many new things this year. My mind is completely blown. Um, and I'm so excited because I'm going to do so much more interest-led things with my kids. We're going to do a lot more hands-on things. We're going to do a lot more subjects together um, as a family. So extended morning time, which is exciting to me since my kids just love all of that group time. Um, I want to kind of cut down the number of hours that we are spending doing school. So hence the like bringing a lot of our core subjects together. So the kids will have independent math and Charlotte will have her own reading program because she's two years behind the other kids. Um, but other than that, we're all going to be doing everything together. So I'm really hoping that we can cut the amount of school time that we do in half because I have just not been happy with that this year. That is like the top thing that I have just felt like was, I don't want to say a fail, but like something I didn't love <laughs> about this year. So, um, I'm looking at my notes. Sorry. Um, so things that we hope to change, how long we school, I want to do more interest led things. So specifically we're changing up our science curriculum, even though I love Nancy Larson science, love it to my core. Um, and there's a video, I will link it um, probably in the description box um, to my Nancy Larson science flip through um, because I really think it's a homeschool hidden gem. But for our purposes, especially for next year what, with the trip that we want to take and um, just like some of the other things, I am going to do a unit study, um, science, and I'm excited because I'm going to let the kids pick the units. So, um, it's going to be quite the adventure. It's going to be probably more work for science for me, but I'm really okay with it because I'm just so excited for what that's going to mean, um, for, us as a family for our kids um, and their excitement level over that. They already love science, but it's just going to put it over the top for them. I'm so excited. Um, and then also I want to bring in, I want to bring back um, in music and dance and maybe some art lessons. And one of my kids really wants to take horseback riding lessons. Um, and right now, because we are schooling for so many hours in the day, we just don't have time for extracurricular things like we used to. And so that's like going to be a huge improvement on our school year next year too, is just doing um, more things that the kids just really want to do and just seeing them through with some of those things. So um, all in all, though, I really think that this has been an incredible year for us. Um, 
Beth, we switched her to Right Start Math at the beginning of the school year, actually right after the school year started. <laughs> we went to our first homeschool convention last year and I was convinced that we needed to um, change our math curriculum for my oldest daughter. My other two are still doing their same one. Um, and it was just the best decision that I could have made for her. She is thriving in her math skills um, and just, it's not a struggle to do math with her anymore. Um, I might cry because <laughs> it's been so wonderful and I don't think that Right Start Math is like the be all end all and everyone should do it. I just think for my daughter, it met her right where she was and was just the perfect thing. So. Um, that was incredible. Another really cool thing that we did with my middle daughter, Ellie, um, she loves to write. And so, um, we had just gone through the whole Green Ember, um, book series and Sam Smith, SD Smith, who wrote, um, that series came out with, a uh, writing, uh, workshop. And so she and I enrolled in that workshop together and, uh, she just, her creative writing skills just exploded, you guys. It was so neat to watch. Um, I highly recommend. It's um, the Green Writer uh, is the is the name of his um, workshop, and I will link that below because I think that it's so excellent. She is in third grade, um, and is probably on the lower end of the age range for that, but. Um, if your kid is like a great writer, then by all means do it with him or her. But, um, and then Charlotte, you guys, Charlotte is a magical unicorn. She is seven years old and she is just, she loves all the things. We did school testing this week and that kid, um, we've only done the math portion. She is testing off the charts for math, but, um, reading at the beginning of the year was a struggle for her. She's only in first grade, so I'm not worried about it at all. Um, but we also switched reading curriculums um, mid-year for her. And she just, her confidence level has just um, shot way up. So um, all my kids are thriving in the subjects that at the beginning of the year or last year were struggles for them. And so my heart is just... <laughs> I feel like the Grinch who's like heart expanded. Um, I mean, I'm not a Grinch, but you know, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, it's just, it's been a beautiful school year. It has been kind of a struggle on my end just to keep it all together. And, um, I've mentioned in other videos, I do have some mental health struggles that I am working through this year. Um, I struggle a little bit with depression, but mostly with anxiety. I have sometimes debilitating anxiety and um, also a reason why we're not doing a lot of extracurriculars this year is that, but I feel kind of ready that when we have things at home taken care of and have the time, we I can, I can do that for my kids. So um, that's kind of where we are. Oh, and um, my husband has made it so that I have a couple of um, hours a couple of times a week where I can just take a breath and not have a ton of responsibility. I call this particular night that I'm filming, I call it my introvert night. So I have introvert night at least once a week. That has been a huge deal for me as an introverted homeschool mom um, who suffers with anxiety. <laughs> Introvert night has been just a revelation for my life. <laughs> Highly recommend um, if you can. I know not everybody is in a situation where they can do that, but um, I am thankful that I am. So that has been our homeschool year. In a nutshell, that's the reflections that I have. There's been so much good. There have been a few things that have been rocky and difficult for sure. Um, and I am also thankful for those things because if we didn't have those things, then there wouldn't be a need to do anything like this. We wouldn't need to reflect because everything would be perfect. We could just do it all the same way every single time, right? 
So um, that is basically all I have for you tonight. But um, I think I said it earlier in the video, but I would love it if you guys would stick around and see more of my videos um, by clicking the subscribe button um, and the notification bell. And um, it would do wonders for my channel if you'd click the thumbs up too. And don't forget to check out all of those awesome videos that those mamas are all posting um, in the uh, collaboration, the link for the playlist is down below and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. All right, Charlotte, can you tell us what your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about this school year was? My favorite thing was that I got to get my new um, reading curriculum stuff. And my least favorite thing was that I had to do so much school. <laughs> okay, Ellie, what was your favorite thing and least favorite thing this school year? My favorite thing this school work, I mean, this school year, was going to Disney World and Universal Studios Harry Potter World. My least favorite thing was grammar. I hate grammar. <laughs> Beth, what was your favorite and least favorite thing this school year? My favorite thing was our theme, Harry Potter. And my least favorite thing was state testing. <laughs>